Hello there, everyone, and welcome. This is Melissa Armour with the Stock Swoosh, and I'm going to review the diamonds here today. This is the ETF for the Dow. Everyone likes to talk about this on television. I really like to follow the SPY, but I'm going to take a look at this today because this is one of the indices that has been dragging, dragging and dragging and lagging, and it's still dragging. Uh, the QQQs made brand new all-time highs. The SPY did not, and the diamonds did not. So let's look at the last date. This was 212. Oh, it's right around Valentine's Day. So 295.87. And that was it. So 212 was the last time the diamonds made a brand new all-time high. And gosh, has the world changed since then? That seems like a hundred years ago, doesn't it? That's when we could all go out in our homes and go out to restaurants and bars and see our friends and family and have a normal life. Then COVID-19 hit, and I don't know what normal was going to look like, you know, February 2021. But for now, I think this is going to have a hard time getting back up to the highs. Could it? Sure, yeah. I think it's going to take something just tremendous, more than the nice retail numbers we had today, to follow through up to the highs. I will say this, though. The market's had a good rally since the end of May. Really nice rally, and it did have some follow through right in here was tied in here this week and then had the nice pop, ran up, some nice bullish calls I had in here on the options letter, and it, it was a long. But then we fell last week, okay, and today doesn't make me say, oh, this is it, we're gonna go back up to the highs. We're still in an uptrend though here, I will say that for the diamonds, but I think it's gonna be choppy. I think the volatility is going to continue. And I think that if you're trading the market actively, you have to play on the right side on specific days. And you also have to have conviction what you're doing so you don't mess up good trades that do work out by killing them too soon, okay? But expect this chop probably to last into the summer. Whether or not we make new highs before the end of 2020, it's too far away, but I'd be shocked if we do, I'll tell you that. Um, so most likely we're going to be in this range. The range could be in here or the range could be here. And this is a huge range. And I won't be surprised at all if we go back down to those March lows. I know everyone's talking about a V, but to me, this really never looked like a V. Didn't look like a V a week into it. Um, so for, I mean, it still doesn't look like a V for me even here. And it's really because of the last couple of days and really actually Monday, quite frankly, because we gapped down on Monday. So today's Tuesday. This was Monday. I know that we rally, but the fact is we gapped down. So that really messed up this whole thing for me. And the gap up today didn't change my mind about that. So it'll be very interesting to see. These are interesting times to trade. If you're in the market for the long term, if that's your horizon, then you gotta stay the course. Uh, but if you are someone that likes to be active, you have to know what you're doing and have a system to follow. So everybody has different time horizons, and that's why you gotta meet with somebody, talk with your financial advisor, sit down with your spouse, determine really why are you in the market? What, when are you looking to take profits out of trades or positions? You gotta know that. And even if you're an active trader, you need to know what your targets are, what your money management rules are. Everybody should have these things. Um, and, and you really, really, really need to know what you're doing in this market. So if you'd like to learn a system and a strategy, I teach my class once a month. It's called the Golden Gap Course. Email me at melissa at thestockswish.com for more information. Stay safe, everyone out there, and be careful and try to have a wonderful, wonderful week.